Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome. And welcome. welcome, welcome to, uh, to uh, the final day of Connecting, of connecting online, online for 2013. 2013. My name is Nellie Deutsch. Deutsch. Not it's not Ludmilla. Ludmilla, Ludmilla will come on in a few uh, seconds, seconds, I hope. And, um, and um, a little bit a about, little bit about uh, Ludmilla, so we can get started. So can if, you can get started. if you can write in the chat box where you're where from, you're from and, and use the chat box to communicate, to share, to think and write, and write whatever comes, whatever to, comes mind to mind because this, because this is, is a connecting, a connecting online, online learning, learning experience. experience. There's Ludmilla, There's Ludmilla and, uh, and uh, all, the all the slides here, here all the information, a lot of information here about how to get the most of WISI you and a well Welcome message, message to let you know that, that connecting, connecting online started, started in 2009. In 2009. Last year, Last year uh, uh, the presenters, many of the presenters, of the presenters got, together got together and collaborated, and collaborated on, a on a book called Connecting, called connecting online, online for 2012. 2012. So that should be coming out, out in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. We'll, share we'll share that with you. With you. And, and um, the rest of the, the, rest of the information, information like about me and about, and about Ludmilla and the power PowerPoint presentation, presentation that you're going, that you're going to, to uh, uh, also, get. also get. All this and, and the continued the discussion, discussion will, continue. will continue right here. Right so here. Join, so join uh, um, the conference, the conference uh, uh, headquarters. headquarters. Okay, there's the okay, conference, there's the conference headquarters, headquarters where you can get all the information and also and learn about. Uh, uh, C014 and C014 is ready. Is ready. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really exciting because with Nilla and I, Nilla and I met, right met right here in a virtual in a class classroom such as this. I don't know how many, don't know how many years, ago, years ago, but it, but it seems like ages, like ages ago. ago. And, uh, and uh, we became uh, friends online, online and, colleagues and colleagues and researchers and, 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 and collaborate. And then, and then we met face to face, and we have and been collaborating at conferences face to face and online ever since. So the friendship is very close. Uh, Dr. Ludmilla, uh, Dr. Ludmilla is, is a professor, professor of, education, of education, and she's, and she's passionate, passionate about, about learning. She's, she's very passionate about teaching and making, and making sure, sure that, that her students, students can read all this, that her students, that her students get it. Get it. And, and she's inspiring, she's inspiring empowering, empowering, and is, and such, is a such a caring person, person that everyone, everyone should want to have, to have such a wonderful, such a wonderful teacher. teacher. And, one, and of one of her passions, of course, is teaching, is teaching with, technology with technology because technology, because technology as we all as know, we all know is, is a facilitator. A facilitator. Here's more Here's about, more about Ludmilla, Ludmilla and, her and her past. She, uh, she uh, came, to the, came to the United States as a professional, as a professional and she has, and she been, has trying been trying to get all this across, across using, technology, using technology. And that's what and she's that's going, what she's to, going do to do today. today. She's going to share with, share you, with you her experiences. In facilitating, in facilitating pedagogy. pedagogy. So it gives, so it gives me great pleasure to pass on the wand. The wand. Because it's a magic because wand when it comes to Ludmilla. Uh, uh, my dear and friend and colleague. and colleague. There we go. There we go. And Ludmilla, and Ludmilla, and Ludmilla, you've, Ludmilla got you've got the floor. Thank, thank you, you for, being for being here. Thank you very much for such a <clears throat> nice introduction. And I can attest uh, that really we are friends. Uh, hello, everybody, and especially my students. Uh, I'm so happy that you joined this session. And uh, it's good because uh, you are uh, those students who came to this session, they are in the class Literacy and Technology. And uh, these are the topics that we are going to discuss throughout the semester. And um, so uh, if you'll hear me well, please uh, show me smiley faces. I, I would like to acknowledge that you hear me well. And uh, you're OK. Thank you very much. So at least I see that you are listening to me. OK, so let's move on. And <clears throat> my first uh, question and first um, first. Uh, invitation to the conversation is to uh, to see how why you're here and what are you here for so for you to uh, show me and share with me that you are um, with me please uh, follow this link and uh, just go to this website 
uh, <clears throat> and and look at me I'm having my iPad it's a smart technology and uh, I would like to invite you to answer this question <laughs> um, Привет. Uh, somebody's greeting me in Russian so that's nice so uh, I would like you to go to this uh, site you see the link go and join this room uh, as a student because I'm a teacher in this session so and now uh, you um, find my room and type in and uh, Nelly will love it IT for all um, type in find my room type in and go to this room and you can use either your iPhone or your iPad uh, just go to your browser and uh, join this session join this room and very quickly there are three options for you to answer so uh, I I start the quiz uh, tell me you are there Sh tell me that you are there please So it says that I have 11 people join the room. I see that see that 11 people, 11 and you even can see the people's names. Uh, So I have <clears throat> already more, 13. So anyway, uh, it's just for showing and, and discussing with you. All right, so I have people there and I would like you, and I send a question for you to, you all have to insert your name, if that's a requirement, and then uh, I'm showing your uh, next question. I'm in your next question. Please answer this question. So why are you here? Agree, uh, agree to participate and choose any answers you would like to. All right. I have. So, um, and answers are right there. You can see them. I didn't hide my um, my my uh, this. But I can hide the result. <clears throat> but I also can leave the result open. So, and I see that um, out of those who submitted submitted uh, answers. Um, so 12 out of 16, uh, 11 people, 11 people are here and uh, active to participate, want to participate. Some people are just listening, just uh, came to, but at least I don't have, um, I don't have a very uh, indifferent people here. I'm sending your next question. Here is your next question. Please answer your question. Thank you very much, Kim, for your help. Very good. <laughs> All right. So um, the question is, which of the following best um, describes you? There are two digital natives, three digital natives. Uh, we have technology uh, immigrants and just starting exploring technology. Very nice. Okay, we. Okay, I see some people. All right. So yeah, we have a diverse, diverse uh, population here. Diverse audience in the class in this workshop. All right. So we will move on. Uh, and. So, and uh, I can, 
I click email response to me and all the responses are coming to my Gmail account to my account so um, that was that was um, that was the uh, pro, uh, application or website that is called Socrative Socrative and it's a free clicker you can use it in your classroom when you teach when you uh, when you are when you are studying your class when you are in the middle of the class when you are uh, finishing the class and it's available and yesterday somebody was asking uh, at the session what is a cloud to be in the cloud to learn in the cloud that's what it is you have your computer you have your iPad you have your iPhone and and these applications are available in everywhere everywhere so you um, there are very interesting you create those um, choices you create those quizzes right on this application Socrative you can use them on your computer you can design them on your computer and what is wonderful is that the results are coming to your your email and you can analyze them you can see them and you can work with them so let's move on um, and that's what smart technology is about it's for you to uh, use it to explore it and to work with it so um, I will just <clears throat> I would skip this slide um, because Nelly introduced me well but I would like to say just a few words that uh, why I am using this technology and I am I'm passionate about them because uh, this what uh, makes really engagement pedagogy it really helps you engage kids and all these years I came to the United States in 2000 and uh, of course I was was different students sometimes were complaining uh, but I use technology to help me teach and uh, I, I used to say so okay I have an accent and I'm different but I pushed put every content, all content on the technology. Computer does not have an accent. You can reach it, you can read it, and you can use it. So, um, and uh, I am a, a Moodle trainer, Web 2.0 trainer, uh, a lot of, um, did a lot of presentations online and in person uh, in different parts of the world. And I also a certified uh, smart trainers so that's why smart technologies is really my second name so uh, let's move on and uh, I also would skip probably this video but I would like you all to find this video and Nelly if you provide the link to this video um, uh, it's uh, did you know it shows the uh, paradigm shift and um, it shows it shows uh, the, the name of the movie it did not did you know did you know or it also there is a pay attention uh, and if you um, I, I thought by by today it was uh, issued I think in 2000 um, I think five or six it was the first version now this if when you see this uh, video with this uh, image uh, that's what you have to uh, watch because it's the fourth, uh, fourth version of the same video and it has more updated um, uh, topics. Uh, but it's, it's so, it shows that the world is different and school is, still, is staying the same. Kids are sitting in the rows and they're listening to teachers. But you can use all these devices, smart technologies to make your, uh, to make your classroom really open to the world open to uh, to students um, so um, and uh, I, I am uh, I am trying to discuss a lot of tools today and that's why uh, time flies and that's why I'm trying to be fast and 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 this this is a smart tip for smart teachers uh, 
this presentation will be available and is already available. Nelly made it happen. It's on the WizIQ site, and uh, after this session, you everybody will get this presentation, and Nelly also can uh, give the link to my Google Doc presentation that I designed this presentation for. So that's why the smart tip is that you can access and have a presentation after this uh, this uh, meeting today. But this is a um, known um, model of today's pedagogy. So it, it is combination of your technology knowledge um, and um, technological knowledge, your content knowledge. Uh, Nelly still wants to show uh, uh, technological knowledge, a content knowledge. You, of course, you have to have content knowledge to teach it. Pedagogical knowledge, you have to know how to to teach. So that's today I am pro promoting pedagogy of engagement, pedagogy of participatory culture, um, collective intelligence. That's what today's world is about. So and stay connected. Stay connected with people. Stay connected with us in connected, uh, uh, connected uh, online uh, and IT for all. So, and you will be always uh, at the age of today's technology. So, uh, my question is for you: uh, What type of classroom is this? When you look at this picture, type in very quickly in in our uh, chat. So, when you look at this picture, so what do you think? What kind of what kind of classroom is this? Thank you, Helena. Yes, uh, right, right. It's traditional because teachers standing in the front classroom uh, shares what it is. But the world is different. The world is different. Uh, kids, uh, kids already are in this world in 21st century, and we are still standing at the blackboard or whiteboard. The, the color is changed, but the, the traditional classroom is the same. Um, and um, the um, students can use all these devices to be engaged, and they will be engaged. They will be happy to participate. Class is, school is different. Class is different. So what I would like you to do is to go to this link. Um, let me find it quickly on my computer. So and uh, let me see. Uh, you will go to this link. It's another very interesting tool. Um, it's a very interesting tool. And if you go to this um, wash uh, wall wisher, and what I would like you to do, we, uh, we again, all of us will be in one space. You go to wall wisher, and you will Please write write a few words. Why school is not changing? So what can we do to make this change? Uh, and just write your thoughts right there. And if you are there, you will see you will be connected. So we are in different parts of the world, but in this space you can be connected. All right. So I see already some <laughs> some posts already on my wall on my wall. <laughs> right, Heather says school is not changing because the teachers do not know how to change it. Right, and somebody wrote this session is fun. Somebody said uh, I did it. Hello there, just do it. So you see, um, and we are all t again. We are all together in one space. That's what cloud is. That's what smart technology did can do you can you can connect your kids you can connect your learners and make them um, make them make them very um, engaged that's what engaged pedagogy is about um, so uh, <clears throat> by by explaining by doing this I all by by uh, Presenting you and speaking about the tools, I also um, use them so that you would see what the difference is. So you just said uh, that you saw the picture of traditional classroom, and traditional classroom is about the teacher standing 
and thinking that she or he is the only only uh, source of information and the right and the meaning of a teaching means that you have to teach them you give them information they are listening and they are uh, responding and but today there is another expression there is another concept of of classroom it's called flip classroom can you write down something that you probably know or even yesterday at this session I was uh, discussing with people who came to the session where there was no presenter we we use this session um, and uh, it's student driven right Kim uh, Kim you are, you are right it's student driven so what else what is flip plus the flipped classroom what happens in the class uh, why is called flipped what is what does it mean what does it mean activity center okay right uh, good so yes it's when when in, in, in if you look at these two slides you will see traditional teacher teaches in the class but in flipped classroom the teacher gives gives all the information when kids are at home the teacher can send them um, podcast or video video presentation or video lecture and the students are learning at home and when they come to class they are engaged they are um, sharing what they learned and you can also with we, the same with the uh, video lecture or video uh, content you also can send some interesting tasks and ex assignments to students and and then when they come to class you can collaborate with them and see where the misconceptions are you can give them some um, individual uh, focus with some of the students so um, and um, engaged classroom what is engaged pedagogy and what is engaged classroom these are the tools that make your in uh, classroom classroom engaged and students engaged that you create a really engaged environment participatory environment when students when you are using all these tools any model um, Bokey, Wolvisher, Blogger and extra normal and um, so all these tools that help to engage students and smart board and everything so and I um, I I show you what the difference in today's world. Uh, this is very uh, famous uh, image of Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. And uh, I added these slides. I added these parts. I I align Web 1.0 with Teaching 1.0, where in the classroom the teacher is the authority, and the teacher delivers the information. The teacher is. Uh, uh, giving and uh, uh, give the information to students and content and responsible for content and kids are just sitting reading and they are passive and that's what web 1.0 was about only those people who knew the HTML code they were giving the information to people and we were coming to web just to read we couldn't do anything with it that's what teaching at classroom 1.0 is Classroom 2.0 and Teacher 2.0 is different. It the teacher opens the whole world to students. The teacher is uh, working with students as a community. They are they create this environment of collective intelligence. They collaborate. They create together. They are all learners. Not that I'm a teacher. I know I own this information. No, we are all learners. And because the world is changing world is changing I cannot know everything the teacher is the same the teacher is also a learner so uh, I see um, uh, Nelly uh, Nelly also uh, responding and uh, giving the, uh, responses right there on on the uh, chat so and what is uh, pedagogy of engagement so from the previous slide and from, from previous part of this presentation um, it's uh, it's the pedagogy of engagement is a classroom where where teachers and students are learners uh, they are collaborators they are creators they create the content together they search for information together they process this information 
they interact about the information and they reflect on the information together and that's and they grow together that's uh, exactly what pedagogy uh, of engagement is and um, so um, I also created um, a, a, another space where you can uh, get together again and this is this space um, I didn't do any Okay, uh, I would like you to, uh, to see another tool that you can use in your classroom. Um, you can go to this space, it's, it's a back channel, and you have to go there, uh, insert your name in your, in your color, and uh, place, uh, you can keep notes there together. You can start your lecture in the classroom and uh, send students, uh, students this link and students can type in uh, along those notes of the lecture that you give and they can, by the end of the lesson, they have collective notes and uh, they can share and the teacher while looking at those notes the teacher can see um, um, so uh, the teacher can see um, the teacher can see where the misconceptions are or the teacher so you have to when you enter on the right you have to write your name please write your names it would be more fun if you uh, write your names there. So I see people already uh, people j uh, joined in writing. <coughs> writing on the right there is a chat. You can even interact with each other. But the teacher can uh, hide um, hide this uh, option so that to concentrate that students would uh, concentrate just on the topic of the lecture. So um, I'm showing this smart tools to you so that you you could use them in your classroom and I also wanted to, to mention of course um, a very uh, known and I think a very important um, concept in understanding pedagogy of engagement and participatory culture and today's world is the name of Bloom's Bloom Benjamin Bloom in 60s he created his um, taxonomy and it's about uh, these are the levels of Bloom's taxonomy understanding uh, comprehension knowing uh, comprehending applying analyzing evaluating creating <clears throat> that's how he created first and he wanted to tell students uh, to tell teachers that they shouldn't teach just to the facts that the lowest level uh, of of uh, learning and teaching, you have to bring students to the highest level to make them create. But what is interesting that uh, what already uh, six uh, sixty years later or fifty year, uh, years later, his name is still um, important, and people who are educators, active educators and tech savvy educators what they did they created uh, tools they created um, adjusted uh, the Bloom's taxonomy to the today's world and to each uh, level of Bloom's taxonomy they uh, added the uh, the tools you see this particular um, and this particular and this particular images they are Bloom 21 21st century Bloom and you can you can attach, you can use those technologies, those tools, web 2.0 tools, to really make your classroom engage, engaged. So, but I also found um, a very interesting um, way of interpreting um, Bloom's taxonomy and make it reversed. So you see, it's this is Bloom's 21. It starts with creating. In order to engage students, you can give them an assignment to create something. They create something first using tools. You can provide them the tools. But then when they are creating, they start evaluating what they are doing. 
they have to then they start analyzing what they're doing then they uh, applying um, more tools more resources they become uh, they become uh, they start understanding what they're doing and by the time they are done with the assignment they remember so it's very interesting uh, a new uh, interpretation of Wilms taxonomy in today's world so um, and I I, th <laughs> I I think I'm doing it all the time so this semester I started a new course not a new course a new way uh, I send my students to the field work with with some of the um, with the project that they will be doing and then we come back and we will analyze what they were doing. They will be teaching and learning at the same time in the classroom, in the classroom setting. And then in a, in a month, we will be back and we continue learning, but we will be referring to what they were doing. They will be creating lessons and then we will be analyzing. It's like classroom laboratory. So, uh, so let's discuss some of the tools that are um, that that are helping you to engage. So these are tools, uh, reading and writing to engage. So <clears throat> Blogger. Uh, and today's technology, and especially uh, Google, allows you to uh, engage students in active writing. And if you if you give students and you uh, encourage them to reflect after each class or uh, I for example when I teach now in my classes I allow students we start with them creating creating blog from the very beginning and when and if it is a, in in person face to face class I ask them to take notes during the class using blogs and and then what wonderful about blogging is that you come, you can come back and you can uh, edit it and you can add all these multimedia um, resources. You can add videos, you can add images, you can add links, and students continue learning even if they are not in the classroom. That's what again, flip, flip classroom. <clears throat> and my online class, I saw that Christi, Christian was writing that in our class we require yes I require blogging because I I feel uh, I feel that this helps students to really learn and reach that high level of learning metacognition when they can when they write those reflections they think what they were doing and why the teacher flaw assigned them that or that assignment and they are writing they are writing and they are engaged they engaged in thinking they are engaged in searching. They engage applying to themselves and see how they uh, this help them grow. And all these things, all these uh, resources that I provided, these links and or not links, but these tools that are called here, Socrative. I just uh, studied with our class with Socrative. Uh, PB Works is a PB. Uh, it's a wiki uh, that they change um, all the way uh, long ago. They changed it to PB Works. PB Works allows again give students assignments and uh, and um, you can give and post your course almost on PB Works. You can create templates for students to work to work with, and they can create things. And you can create your resources. You can uh, and uh, you can engage your students through this way, through these tools. Tinypad, I, you just were at one of them. Today's Meet is another uh, back channel tool that allows students to stay connected. Um, now, creating to engage. So these are the tools that you can use, and uh, and um, you yourself can use them, uh, Prezi, uh, VoiceThread, uh, PresentMe, um, and, and also what is wonderful about today's technology, these tools allow now to collaborate together. Prezi, when it started, it just was a, a tool for creating multi-dimensional PowerPoint presentation. Today, you can engage other people 
and create together. It's like Google Docs presentations. Uh, VoiceThread is a tool, is a, a technology, a very smart technology that, it, it, by the way, it is integrated with the iPad. I have it on my iPad and I can uh, create things right on my iPad or I can do it and then share it in class. So VoiceThread allows you create, it's almost like a power, creating PowerPoint presentation, but what is wonderful about it, uh, this uh, um, tool, that you can create your PowerPoint presentation, uh, adding images, videos, and, and text, but then you can engage your students in answering questions and uh, sharing their thoughts and posting them through five ways. They can type in, they can call through the phone, they can record their voice, if they don't want to see that people uh, see them, they can just record the voice or they can some. And I noticed people, my students love to use webcams to, to that people would see them. And they also post their uh, video recordings with the answers. I use VoiceThread in collaborative projects. We use Nelly and I, we are using VoiceThread to help students introduce each other. Uh, and it's 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 an amazing tool for writing and and uh, reading and creating things. Um, Michelle uh, Bikarski, who is um, a teacher, and she's also pre representing a voice thread. She teaches. She's an art teacher at the community college, but she teaches her uh, adult people, adult uh, learners. He, she teaches art, how to create create art, and she records. There is a doodle tool. She records movement of the hand, and uh, you can go to VoiceThread and look for for such presentations, and you can see how people. Uh, you can see the growth of a person who is learning how to paint, how to draw, or you can develop skills of people uh, through this uh, through this. Um, uh, tool uh, present me is a is a again a new tool a British a British technologist and educators created this tool and it allows and by the way my class we will be using it I I have now uh, an account with 20 um, 20 um, users so you will be all involved in this what it what allows it to do you also open presentation but you can also record your voice. You can record your lecture. And students also can, and you can send it to students. It's an amazing tool that you can use. And, and they created an uh, education option, and they also allowed to create a team account. So just go explore it. Um, and so the next tool I would like to say it's communicating to engage. So you can engage people in, co in, in communication and uh, collaboration. So these are um, a few tools. And believe me, every day there is something new on the internet. It's just, you, you never, that's why it's really a world of um, engaged, culture engaged. Uh, people because every day there is something new and you have to open your mind and heart and 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 your worldview to to this new world that allows and especially for teachers you can use anything so um, these are both is a wonderful tool that you can use to engage students and you can create Voki and it's a free tool. And what is wonderful about Web 2.0, these tools are free. And some of them require a little bit of payment. But Voki allows you to create um, a very, um, uh, an image you can create yourself. I, for example, I have Voki on my uh, blog and I invite people to blog. I created by, oh, you will see it a little bit later in one of the slides. So uh, you also can create a character uh, and invite students to uh, learn with the character and then they will be engaged. 
uh, Jing, uh, it's a, unfortunately it will be. It was bought by Snagit, uh, but Jing, uh, it's still. Uh, is available uh, Jing project if you go jingproject.com uh, it what it does you download Jing and you put it on your computer and you can screencast you can <clears throat> and you can ask students to create tutorials to each other you can create explain if student is uh, uh, is stuck with something you can ask him to create uh, Jing screencasting where the problem is and he can send it to you and you can then see and then you create and in response your Jing screencast explaining what the tool is Podomatic is a free podcasting tool that allows students create interviews and create podcasting you can throughout the, the, the course you can give student assignment to do podcasting um, the uh, Ning uh, and by the way our connected online Nelly can provide also the link to our Ning uh, connected online and you can stay connected and and through Ning you can participate in, in forums you can add pictures you can add videos you can share and besides uh, connected online there are there are uh, Ning communities the I think the, the, the largest is um, connect uh, classroom 2.0 I really engage especially my students please join classroom 2.0 and you will be exposed to 50 million 50,000 people 50,000 uh, users of this uh, network of people they are communicating exchanging and inside this network you can join groups teaching with technology web 2.0 smart board uh, there is another Ning uh, uh, activity smart board, smart board revolution and from all these from all these communities you can learn how to do things and, and these teachers the, and what is also a wonderful about today's world uh, this uh, phenomena really allows people to stay connected and to be generous these teachers who are doing who are ahead of everybody I think with technology they are so generous they do not keep it to themselves they share and there are so many uh, lesson plans uh, shared uh, tools and and uh, blogs and um, activities done with these tools so you can go and learn from these people and also share so um, other other tool connect for connection uh, is our uh, Digo delicious and um, Google Plus uh, back the web uh, for example my Digo uh, ID is if you want me um, uh, is Mila Pedagogy and if you go to Digo um, what is also is a difference between web, web 1.0 and web 2.0 is that with web 1.0 all your bookmarks stays on your computer and when you left home you are without your tools but with these uh, this uh, Diego and Delicious are um, Web 2.0 bookmarking tools, and whatever you collect stays with you anywhere you are, anywhere you go. But also, when you are there, you can look for people, look for groups, and and then, for example, if you find me, Mila Smirnova or Mila Pedagogy, all my resources, all my southern resources, become yours, and. And, and also there are groups there are groups for whiteboard uh, technology for smart board there are groups for web 2.0 you can join them and interact with them Google Plus also it's like a competing tool with Facebook you can go there and and follow all your um, people uh, technology geeks so to say back the web is another uh, wonderful source where you can collect all the resources in the bag and uh, can share when you do either presentation or where you teach a lesson so it's really and Twitter of course is another uh, co um, 
connecting to. Of course, uh, there are, um, there are so these are also tools that keep uh, keep you connected and collaborating. I love Scoopit, and I think today's education is about curating. When when you collect things, you generously share with others. That's what Scoop Scoopit about. So if you go again to Scoopit, open your account. It's free, and you can also join different uh, people and Nelly and I we, uh, we are there and uh, I have um, my topics for example one of the topics is engagement uh, engagement pedagogy of engagement and I collect resources on all my resources there and I also have um, as a topic uh, teaching with iPad uh, teaching to engage so you can go and uh, look for people and you can join groups it's the same as I did so Pinterest is another um, connecting tool and collaborating tool that you can use to collect pictures and there are you just go there you create an account or you can do it through your Facebook if you have it uh, and it allows you to to um, to share boards you create boards for uh, different types of lessons you can and you can use all those pictures and resources that are there it's just it Ed, Ed, Edmodo is another uh, wonderful tool that uh, is a learning management uh, a learning management system for schools and many schools are using and just yesterday I found out that tapped in a very uh, famous uh, place for teachers she it's it's being closed and um, they are just informing people about that this place is closed and everybody who was there and web heads by the way had their I think start there and uh, people were connecting they there was a chat room also virtual tap room and uh, and Yes, it's ancient and it's it's being it's 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 now it's closed by March 15th. I think it will be closed. But what they are doing, they are recommending people uh, joining Edmodo, and it has almost the same features. But it's it's interesting. And by the way, if you have some resources there in your tap team, it's good to um, collect them and have it. So this is an interesting tool. It's also free. Uh, so the hands learning uh, if you go there you can create your classroom it's it's another learning management free, uh, system and it's very intuitive and very interactive so I see it's, the time is uh, 47 minutes I am uh, half through and this is the, the site that you can use it's just type in cool uh, tools for schools .com and you will be exposed to this thousands I think already um, 10,000 of tools, free tools, and uh, half uh, free tools, and uh, for teaching, learning, writing, creating things, so you can find this out. So, as far as a uh, smart board, I promised, and in my introduction, and in my, uh, but I, when I found out that there is no way I can share my screen, that's why I changed a little bit my presentation. Um, uh, <clears throat> so this uh, uh, smart board right now, smart board um, is um, people, smart smart tech people. They do not uh, sleep. They uh, they really um, are working. And the the um, new tools on smart board they become more more engaging and. Do you know now, SmartBoard, if in the past SmartBoard allowed only one person uh, at the board, right now several kids can work on the SmartBoard. They improve this feature. Uh, SmartBoard allows, uh, with new tools, you can create things. You can record your voice right there on your SmartBoard. Um, I mean, on the, using uh, Notebook 11, you can. Uh, in the past, you had to attach a file, a sound file, and you make sure that it it's there. But right now, SmartBoard allows you to record. You can create an image and explain what the image is, and you can record your voice right there on your SmartBoard on the notebook when you create a lesson. 
um, they, it has also uh, this uh, feature move uh, order erase so it's another wonderful tool that you can you can create your assignments you can here you can move and the, the answer would be right there in order you can uh, take this and bring it here and reveal the answer or uh, erase when you erase the uh, written you can see the answer and the kids would be very engaging when they are at the in the uh, at the board activity builder the, the a new tool right now they design where you can um, it, it allows you to match um, uh, sort things and so you create an, you choose an object and then you select object that be, belong uh, it they will they will match and they will be accepted and those that are not accepted they will be rejected so it's easy to do and it's so easy to do to to play with with the uh, s uh, smart board uh, nowadays so this is an activity builder that's how you do it and that's how uh, it works uh, uh, notebook widgets it's it's this is uh, I told you that um, uh, that uh, now also smart board and notebook 11 has this option to integrate your bokeh right into your notebook and uh, for example, look at this. Uh, so you can teach this way, but you also can create your own Voki. That's what I was saying. And you can have it on on the smart board, and the the students the students will be really thrilled, flabbergasted when they see this Voki talking to you. And um, so it's it's really. Um, <clears throat> And uh, this is a wonderful tool uh, on class uh, class tools. When you go to class tools, you can create. Uh, so if we were right now, we were using this tool. So I created this pedagogy of engagement with smart technology. So there are questions. It's like a jigsaw activity. And you have to find the answer and make, connect these pieces together. And that's on the smart board. It's easy. You can move it. And bring it together, and students. And by the end of the answer, you will see how well students uh, learned. And if the if the answer is correct, they will stick together. If they're not, they will be pushed away. So it's again. And do you think students will not be uh, engaged? They will. They will be thrilled to participate in such activities. Um, so uh, tips and tricks. I don't want you to leave overwhelmed and I, I that's what I wanted to do in the beginning it's it's okay to be overwhelmed but you have to be really open-minded uh, you have to be patient because in order to to work you have to uh, to work with these tools you have to practice yourself and sometimes it doesn't qu come quickly you have to be patient technology requires be being patient allow time to develop the skills and allow time to master those uh, things practice practice a lot and connect with others connect with those networks and learn from these people from other people um, use tutorials on YouTube it's <laughs> it, it's you you will be amazed how much is out there created by these generous people of web 2.0 world they there there isn't a tutorial on anything you can use YouTube, TeacherTube. Uh, just type in in the in the on the top, and it's those people who have Gmail account, you have all this uh, right in your Gmail account um, available to you. So, and when you time when time for, for practice uh, comes, you just create an account, secure your ID and password. Uh, watch the tutorials on the site and on YouTube. Find the answers to your questions. Explore, play with the tools to learn ins and outs. Because when you assign students the assignments, uh, you have to know where the uh, some uh, troubleshooting is and how you can help students. And and then think about what assignments you can design with those tools and how that will help you engage your students 
uh, in learning, in active learning. <clears throat> and again, to remember you that you can uh, stay connected through these tools um, and through Google+, Plus, through web, Back the Web, Evernote, uh, and Dropbox. These are the tools that you can that help you these again smart technology and they help you keep uh, big store big files and share these files with each other Evernote is a wonderful tool that it also it's everywhere on your iPad on your iPhone on your computer and wherever you go it, it goes with you uh, by the way tiny URL is a nice tool that allows you to um, to make the long URL very short and you can paste it wherever you need. Um, so RSS, this is the tool, allows it's a, re a real uh, simple syndication. What it does, it helps you keep all the resources com coming to you to your to your blog or to your Google account, to the Google Reader. So uh, these are really very um, wonderful tools. So I would leave a five minutes for questions. And I really appreciate your feedback on here, but it's not active. Nelly, if you provide the link, I would really be appreciative. So let me see if I can find it quickly. Uh, it's okay. And maybe, uh, yes, it's uh, right here. Uh, let me copy this link. All right, uh, I will paste it here. Control V. Here you go. You can send me send me for uh, <laughs> your responses, your suggestions to, to my uh, to my Google form. Wow, I created wow. a form with the feedback. Okay, Nelly, uh, did you follow? I I was I tried to be fast, <laughs> and I maybe missed some of the questions if there were questions. I don't know. I don't. I don't I seem don't, to be able to hear you through this, through microphone. this microphone. Thank you, Lila. That, 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 that was amazing. You did so much, in, you did so much in, such in such a short time. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, amazing. This, is I mean this is something that you would do at a workshop, but not a one-day workshop. Not a one workshop, day workshop. At least a three-day three workshop. Three day workshop. So, it so it was amazing. Thank you so so so, much. so much. I loved it. I loved it. You can tell that I love something when I don't stop chatting. By the way, by the way, I said before, this is how Villa and I met. Be I would be her driving crazy her in crazy the in the chat box. So she's used, so she's to, this. used to this. <laughs> what are friends, what are for, friends right? for, right? If not to drive, drive each other crazy. crazy. So thank so you so, thank you much, so everyone. much, everyone. Thank you for thank joining us. You for joining us. Don't, we don't, we don't have time for questions because the next because session is about, about to start. And, and the next one is about curating Ludmilla. So you're invited to join. And, and um, um, thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. So much. Lena's got Lena's a space. Can you, can you, yeah, she yeah, she wants you, she wants you to continue, continue you and so do I. But it is, but it is, yeah, it is time. Yeah, it Nelly, is time. Um, provide, the, provide the link to this next session here in the chat. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, really I can't really. You, really you know, I think you know. I thought I was going. I thought I was death, going deaf, but, but I think that maybe it's. Um, Maybe it's not me, I'm not sure. But in any case, the next workshop for those of you is with Lucien, who's from Romania. I guess he's the number one curator. He's just an amazing curator. He spends he must spend about 24-7. I don't know if he sleeps. So there we go. Thank you, everyone. That's the next session. See you next.